Definitely use a number one Phillips to take these off. Number two is too big and you'll strip out the screws if you even, if you try. So just a heads up, I didn't do it, but uh, luckily I had a number one. And yes, these two you have to take off. So it is eight screws. Then you pull this cover off. And by the way, do not do this unless you speak with Spondulis first because this will void the warranty. Uh, I spoke with them, so they're cool with it. But uh, anyway, there's a good look inside it. It's really well made. I mean, it's server quality stuff, man. They, they don't ever disappoint. They make great, great products, high end, really good fans, really good power supplies. Everything about this thing is 100% quality, really good stuff. And then uh, on, uh, on this side, see you've got two 2200 watt uh, uh, rack mount basically power supplies, which is really cool. Then you've got your network port USB and then serial port. I don't think you'll ever have to use that unless something's really, really bad and they talk you through something. But really, that's about it. And those fans have some serious suction. They work really well. There it is. There's two layers of these boards and um, does about 540 what they say it does. The first two that I have have averaged 600, so they are rocking. Anyway, I have six now and uh beautiful product uh i really think they uh I, these will dominate the market basically when uh dash or crypto in general takes off again there's not going to be you're going to have six to eight months of having these things before anyone ramps up production and starts making anything to put it in perspective remember these ib links the ib links uh 11s this is 49 of them in one box, pulling 4,400 watts. So think about that. D3s, it's at least 20 of those. So think about that. I mean, it, it's pretty insane. Great product. Damn good jobs, Fondulis. And uh, that's it. Miner dude out.